The opposition says that this vote was not fair and frauded and tricked. Many people feel frustrated because they said no, their friends said no, the friends of the friends said no, but the result is 78% of a yes wrote in his blog oppositioner Alexei Navalny. We saw people voting on the benches in the yards. This vote was spread into time, took place in internet and uh, it was very hard to control it says the opposition and those who monitor and we saw some videos of people who would uh, discover at the voting station when they come to vote that they have already voted um, the uh, movement for defense of uh, voters rights uh, goal has said that uh, there was also another problem the state employees who work for state comp corporations they were obliged to vote and there was a lot of pressure on them on the lines. Goal is there was um, an alternative exit poll organized by a no movement and uh, it shows that in Moscow 54% uh, of the voters said no. The official results is 33% of no in Moscow. So yesterday there was a protest in the center of the capital. I was there and people were chanting down with the Tsar the best amendment is for Putin to stay down and they spoke a lot about those frauds and about the future. Let's listen more. Our country is returning back to the Soviet totalitarianism, to the state we overcame back in 1991. They again thrust us into the gulag, to the state where we are the property of the nomenclature, when we ourselves do not belong, when our fundamental freedoms are infringed, and when the Czechists seriously believe that they're our masters. The Central Electoral Commission said that there were no major violations that could put under the question the results of this vote.